Malankya Putra. The Buddha's penetrating insight attracted many intellectuals, one of whom, Malankya Putra, grew more and more frustrated as the Buddha failed to settle certain basic metaphysical questions. Finally, he went to the Buddha in exasperation and confronted him with the following list. Blessed one, there are theories which you have left unexplained and set aside unanswered, whether the world is eternal or not eternal, whether it is finite or infinite, whether the soul and body are the same or different, whether a person who has attained nirvana exists after death or does not, or whether perhaps he both exists and does not exist, or neither exists nor does not. The fact that the Blessed One has not explained these matters neither pleases me nor suits me. If the Blessed One does not explain this to me, I will give up spiritual disciplines and return to the life of a layman. Malankya Putra, the Buddha replied gently. When you took to the spiritual life, did I ever promise you I would answer these questions? Malankya Putra was probably already sorry for his outburst, but it was too late. No, Blessed One, you never did. Why do you think that is? Blessed One, I haven't the slightest idea. Suppose, Malankya Putra, that a man has been wounded by a poisoned arrow, and his friends and family are about to call a doctor. Wait, he says, I will not let this arrow be removed until I have learned the caste of the man who shot me. I have to know how tall he is, what family he comes from, where they live, what kind of wood his bow is made from, what Fletcher made his arrows. When I know these things, you can proceed to take the arrow out and give me an antidote for its poison. What would you think of such a man? He would be a fool, blessed one, replied Malankya Putra shamefacedly. His questions have nothing to do with getting the arrow out, and he would die before they were answered. Similarly, Malankya Putra, I do not teach whether the world is eternal or not eternal, whether it is finite or infinite whether the soul and the body are the same or different, whether a person who has attained nirvana exists after death or does not, or whether perhaps he both exists and does not exist, or neither exists nor does not. I teach how to remove the arrow, the truth of suffering, its origin, its end, and the noble eightfold path. <laughs> 